technically, this is Adjutant, vegan. They've got wicker. Vegan. Adjutant, are no, you... vegetarian. Okay. Because there's mayo here. Lindsay's... Good morning, guys. We're at Village de Villar. Village de Villar. Looking at the Bayags. Danye. Yeah, Danye. It's actually not bad for $9, but not a style that would sell can you believe christmas is like days away guys i'm kind of neutral on christmas kind of don't give a fuck kind of do kind of don't i don't see anything i can thank daniel for picking today's location This is cute. How much is this? $8.99? That's so cute. But I don't know. Maybe. We'll do a maybe to this. Because look at that. It's in such good condition. Camera style. It's super clean too. I don't want it. <laughs> I just feel like Danier bags are just not it, guys. Danier bags are just not it. It's mm, cute, very Chanel esque. Anywho, oh, there's a Danny wallet. See, there's so much Danny stuff here. I'm not really a fan of Danny anymore. I like to be honest, those bags just do not sell for me. Unless it's like unique or something. Okay, let's go look around still. Hi, guys, good morning. Well, technically, good afternoon. It's noon <laughs> right now. We've been through a few thrift stores already. A little slow, but thank you to Fraggle Rock, because Fraggle Rock gave me a blazer. So thank you to her. It's actually the second Dolce blazer that she's given me. So thank you, Fraggle Rock. Where are we going? Oh, we're going over here. Okay, so yesterday I was watching a few things. I watched a few things. What did I watch? Stay Rich of All Time, The Gilded Age. Oh my goodness. I knew that ending was going to happen. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I called it. I'm not going to spoil it for you guys if you watch The Gilded Age, but I knew that was happening. And it just uh, makes me anticipate watching season three. Now I have to wait till freaking. 2024 or possibly 2025 for Gilded Age season three. Love that show so freaking much. Oh, I also want to thank Carol. She sent me a $50 gift card on Amazon. So thank you, Carol. Very, very generous of you. I appreciate it wholeheartedly <laughs> yesterday i started watching um the mirror has two faces it's a 1996 movie starring jeff bridges and barbara streisand uh, i remember vividly when it was released but i was literally like in my mid-teens and i had no interest watching it as a mid-teen but as an adult i actually it's actually very um, like I enjoyed it watch, watching it. It's literally, it's about like a professor. He's hot, but he's older. Um, but he always falls for like young, uh, hot girls who use him and then dump him. So he goes in the personals, which this is 1996. So there's like internet was still really, really new. So he goes, like puts an ad in a newspaper to find someone who's intelligent and he gets along with, and he's like, looks don't apply. <laughs> then of course, in comes ugly duckling Barbara Streisand. Um, and then they kind of build a relationship together, platonic, 
and they get married and you know they don't let sex ruin their because they, they feel like sex ruins a relationship so they don't have sex but then they start falling for each other blah 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 anyway super good i liked it it was very it's not your norm romantic comedy um love uh, Lauren Bacall's performance in it. And of course, Jeff Bridges is a hunk. Even at 46, he was a hunk. So I watched that yesterday. The theme song to that was I Finally Found Someone with Barbara Streisand and uh, Brian Adams. And I don't know if you guys follow the Oscars, but it was nominated for an Oscar in 1996. And she, um, they wanted Barbara to perform at the Oscars but she said no and um so they got celine dion to perform at the oscars sorry there's like a traffic thing going on and um then barbara said okay i will perform but they're like no we already got celine so yeah it was a whole drama and then like when celine dion performed at the Academy Awards, the song, Barbara's song, Barbara had, wasn't watching. She was in a bathroom. <laughs> so they kind of made up this feud, like the, the um, press made this feud between them, which was false. And that's when Barbara approached Celine Dion to make that song tell him of her 1997 album, Let's Talk About Love. Why do I know all this? Because I do. <laughs> Useless information that I know. I need to go to Bulk Barn and get a few um, nuts because it's a good protein. Yesterday was the first time I haven't eaten meat, guys. First time I haven't eaten meat all day. I mean, it wasn't the healthiest day, but it was a meatless day, that's for sure. Where the hell is, oh, there it is. Bulk Barn. Okay, let's go over here. I left Daniel at freaking Value Village. <coughs> but whatever you do, it's just got to be you. Oh, my life has just begun. I finally found someone. That's too much wear for 30 bucks. I was going to pick this up, but there's just too many. No, there isn't. Oh, yeah, I saw those. They're just for 30 bucks, and it's doing that. And that. That's problematic for 30 bucks. <laughs> hey, guys, it's Miss Philly. <laughs> Uh-oh, I think I have to poo. <laughs> I ate a, I need to come, I need to poo. Holy crap, guys, that plant-based impossible burger from <laughs> Burger King literally went through me went and exploded outside of me guys oh my god i feel so dirty right now like <laughs> i used the bathroom at salvation army because they have paper towels there so i wet the paper towel like i'll wipe myself with toilet paper but then i need to wet myself just because it, i feel cleaner once i wipe myself with something wet and they have some sturdy like paper like hand towel like hand paper towels so I'll wet those wipe myself and threw it in the trash so I feel a little clean but not clean clean because that was like a freaking paintball gun coming out of my earth you know what I mean not pretty <laughs> thank god I was prepared I had my freaking hand sanitizer spray so I sprayed the toilet and sprayed everything before and after I left and I had my perfume and I was like, you know, putting it everywhere. I went like this a few times so that, cause yeah. Thank God there wasn't someone going into the bathroom after me, but it didn't actually even smell. So maybe because I was like not eating meat, maybe that's why. I feel like if you eat meat, your poop smells more pungent. 
than if you're eating more plant-based stuff. I mean, I'll eat it again, but I have to tread carefully because this was a, an explosion. It was an explosion. <sighs> I feel bad for Daniel today. I keep leaving him. I left him for like 30 or 40 minutes doing my errands. And then I left him now because I had to do a power dump. So, excuse me for bodily functions. I hate that, guys. My biggest pet peeve is doing a number two in public. Like, how was I supposed to do that in a stall and not feel mortified if there's other people in the bathroom? Don't doubt it twisted, though. I've been in bathrooms where, like, other people around me are power dumping. It didn't really bother me. I just feel if it smelled, it'd just be like, you know, whatever. But it's normal. Like, but I don't know. I'm just very self conscious in terms of things like that. Yeah, they're the only, like, on this area, we're on a uh, street called Pembina right now. That Salvation Army is the only one that I know of that is super clean. The toilet's never, like, gross. And um, they had paper towels in the bathroom. I clean the toilet before I use it and I literally clean it after for the next person because I'm respectful that way, okay? Other people who just freaking do their business and leave the toilet a mess need manners. Anyway, <laughs> Daniel's a little piffed. Not really, he's not really. It's my motherfucking car. I can do what the fuck I want, okay? And we're gonna go pick him up. Oh, that little kid's wearing a can of goose jacket. That's kind of cool. <laughs> Bougie. <laughs> um, okay, I'm just gonna go pick up Daniel. I think I'm gonna pass on the other, like the last value village because I have a strong suspicion that I'm gonna have to do another explosive bowel movement. <laughs> in due time, like literally in an hour and a half, I feel myself exploding again. <sighs> I guess that's what you get for doing a very uh, severe diet change, you know? <sighs> yeah, it's been kind of a slow thrift day today. I mean, I got two good pieces, but I mean, I feel like they're, they're pieces that would sit anyhow, better, girl, get down here. Daniel, can you hear me? Daniel, can you see me? Daniel, where are thee? Daniel, Daniel, who I'm a dirty bitch. <laughs> Again, explosions. Luckily, this Valley Village has a single bathroom. I told Daniel, I'm like, there's no way I'm sitting in a stall with other people around exploding on the toilet while they smell and hear everything. He's like, he does it. And I'm like, well, maybe it's different for men, but <laughs> no, we're not doing that. Anyway, feel so disgusting and dirty when I get home, I'm gonna shower. Um, what I hate about public restrooms is that their toilet paper, like, rips really easily. The minute that you put it underneath a sink, like, I mean, underneath the water running, it disintegrates. And I guess, I get that it's supposed to disintegrate because, you know, it's, you flush it, you know, it disintegrates in the water, but ugh, it just makes a mess and it's just, it breaks in your ass. And we've had enough ass bowel movement talk today, so hands are clean, thank God. Okay, so we only picked up two things today all day. Like, why why even bother leaving the house if we're just picking up two things, right? So, we got this beautiful size 44 Dolce & Gabbana blazer. It has, like, a paisley pattern. Very subtle. I think it's, like, a navy blue mixed with black. So, and the black parts look very, like, lacy. Um, I don't know if there's a missing button. And it doesn't... Oh, yeah, I guess there is, but here there's three buttons. One is loose, and here is three buttons. So I don't know if there's supposed to be another button. 
because it doesn't look like one was attached here see but the buttons don't like there's three buttons there and then three buttons there so i don't know if they're both missing a button or what but it doesn't really matter because they're just plain black buttons anyway um what's fabulous and the thing is about that it's easy to replace anyway because they're just basic black buttons it's not engraved with dolce and gabbana but dolce and gabbana made in italy 100 percent silk guys so it's very luxurious Here's the interior labels. Dolce & Gabbana, 100% silk. No wash in water, no bleach, cool iron, light dry cleaning, no tumbler. And yeah, it's a size 44. I feel like that's a large. There are some minor uh, shoulder pads. So, but I love this look. It's almost like a tuxedo look. Almost like a tuxedo where the front is slightly higher than the back. I love that look. I don't know if it's translating on camera, but it kind of, I don't know. It's hard to show, but and other than the buttons, which is not a big deal, it's in perfect condition. It really is. No rips in the fabric, no tears. So. This is a fabulous piece. I love it because it is also a high-end material, which is silk. And the only other thing that we got, guys, is this bag. It's the first thing that we got today. This vintage to me bag. Um, I learned to me from all the thrifting guys back in the past. Um, I'd say 2015, 16. They used to always talk about this brand. They still do. But the guys I used to follow on uh, YouTube that thrifted like raking raking profit um bonafide hustler um a bunch of other guys that thrifted uh, they used to always like talk about to me and this is vintage to me which what's amazing is that it came complete with the luggage tag and even like this tag that says bags and baggage all the zipper pulls are marked to me it is a messenger style travel bag um great condition for vintage and i don't know if you guys know about to me but this brand retail currently retail not vintage is over a thousand dollars and i believe vintage still sells in the in the high 200s 300s um based on condition you know and being complete like sometimes with these bags it's missing the crossbody strap or sometimes it's missing missing the luggage tag but this one is complete you have a front zip pocket here back has one big zip pocket up here nylon um maroon interior and then you have okay on the front there's two zip pockets one in the bottom one on top here and then in the big compartment there you have like an area for pens it says to me genuine leather and you can put a card here some pens and it has like a big zip pocket here and then like i guess this place to put your laptop there's other tags in here it says made in colombia so this one was made in Colombia and it's in great condition, like for vintage. I mean, the leather on it, some like a little bit of rubbing on the corners, but no exposed piping. Overall in great condition, guys. So I'm happy. And we paid $3 for this. You can't go wrong with that. So anyway, I just want to get home, guys. I want to get home, cook some vegetarian uh, Indian food and call it a day because my stomach is hurting. That plant-based... Uh, a burger from Burger King really messed with my stomach and I'm shooting shits. <laughs> so thank you for joining me in Vlogmas Day 20. I love you guys. Happy holidays to everybody. Anybody who has sent me anything in my PO box or sent me an e-gift card or a Starbucks gift card, I appreciate so much from the bottom of my, of my heart. You don't have to do that, but you do. So thank you. And of course, to the members um, of the channel, thank you to the members and of course, the subscribers. And a reminder to the members, um, there's still like uh, 10, 11 days on the contest. And there's not many that many. There's only like 50 comments. You guys are allowed to enter as many times as possible in the comment section. So enter away. I'll add some other things to the prize. It's just not going to be the Pandora necklace. So anyway, I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. I love you. And um, we're using the Balenciaga today. <laughs> anyway, bye guys.
One of the annoying things about thrifting is you have to wait for the person when you've been sitting in the car for freaking 10 minutes and they're still camping and still looking and it's like you can't go. But don't get it twisted. I will leave Daniel's ass behind. I ain't frontin'.